Hey guys, I'm a nerd. And I'm his mom. And today we're starting season two of Jujutsu Kaisen, but before we do that, we want to kind of quickly discuss Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, the movie, because we watched that off channel. Uh, we both really liked it we like, did. a lot, yeah. more than we expected to like it. And I think overall, like, I really like seeing a. We got a better look at like the school, I feel like, than we ever yeah. did in the first season. Because in season one, I was kind of confused on how like the sorcerer world is structured. It's like they finally showed just everyone, like everyone that worked at Jujutsu High, kind of how they're formatted. We got to learn way everything about Ghetto, basically, yeah. his ability. It was very fast paced. It very, like, very fast. Like, breakneck speed right like two seconds and then the he's like we're declaring war right two seconds later it's war right um but i love like the fan service of seeing like toto and them from the other school show up in that big fight seeing that nanami get to do his thing like there wasn't much point in that it was a school like, <laughs> it was them. cool to see them and i really liked yuda like i, I was kind of like you know skeptical because it'd be weird not having itadori fushigoro and nobara in it but he was, like, really good. He was yeah. a really good character. So I have some mixed feelings on Yuta. Mm. Uh, I enjoyed seeing uh, more of Maki, Panda, yeah. and Unamaki. Uh, Unamaki. And I feel like Yuta made me sort of melancholy. I don't know, because he was just so sad and... He was sad. ...depressed, and then the dark circles under his eyes... Yeah, you, you just kind of felt bad for him the I whole felt, movie. Yeah, I felt bad for him the whole movie. And then I'm curious about why he was at the hospital and and she was there too. I think he was just like a sick kid. Kid, yeah. Because he, he looks kind of sickly. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe that's why he had the dark circles under his eyes. I think eyes. he's just kind of like unhealthy. <laughs> but yeah, like the Rika thing was really interesting with the it, curse. It really was. emotional, honestly, like yeah. how that whole thing wrapped up. And I'll, I'm, I'm really interested to see how he factors into season two, because I know he's going to show up in season mm -hmm. two. Like, I want to see him interact with Itadori, because they're kind of like the two main characters, sort of, which is weird. Yeah. Because he, Yuda was like, Itadori before Itadori. They both had like a thing that kind of dwells in them. Right. They were new. They didn't know anything about sorcery. They're kind of both naturally talented. and But definitely different personalities. Very different. Yeah. Itadori's kind of like an all-around upbeat kind of guy. And Yuda yeah. is much more yeah. depressed. Sad. And, <laughs> yes, very sad. But I think because of that, you rooted for him more. Mm -hmm. Because you wanted to see him succeed. The animation was like insane Stunning. yeah the and then we saw him do the black fa flash, flash at the end so at the end the part where he meets up with ghetto like he they're he, fighting he talks to rika and says you know that we can run away together yeah, or whatever they just help me this one last time yeah and then the beam and then the and then they clash together i got like choked up yeah. i don't know i think it was a combination of him saying the emotion things. the emotion plus like, like the, the awesomeness of yeah. the scene you yeah. know and so. we got a bit more gojo too like they said yeah. his eyes are like part of his power we gotta see him just like wreck that miguel guy yeah who you know was training with for some reason in kenya so <laughs> yeah, at the end i yeah. guess he was just there while eat a door like everything's happened in season one and gojo went to fetch him so we're probably not gonna see him for a bit because when we're getting to season two here in a minute, the first five episodes are going to be even further in the, the past than right. the movie, and yeah. we'll get more of Gojo's hist in history with Ghetto and stuff. Right. And I'll be interested to see that, because Ghetto kind of seems like he went from a really good person to kind of hating humans, and <laughs> that, that was being like a monkeys. cult leader. Monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. yeah, it was really good. So, yeah, we really enjoyed the movie. I'm glad that we watched it. Yeah. And uh, we're excited to start season two. Yeah, and we'll get right into that just now. Hmm. Is this Ghetto? I don't know. Sounds like him. But why would he? Yeah, oh. that's him. I think. No, that's not. Yeah, that's him. Ghetto? Oh yeah, yeah. this is oh. yeah, this I forgot is this past. is in the past. Oh yeah. gosh, okay. It's weird seeing him without the big long yeah. tuft of hair coming out the back. 
This looks yeah. like when he was still in the school. He's got their uniform. Yeah, he, I, I didn't even notice he had the earrings. Yeah. Tastes like. Oh. Used to come out ill. Uh, he's doing that in the movie. He like. Yeah, eats but them. does he have to? Do you think? So he was good at some point. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. This looks like, wait, this looks like, it's like a actually old. Yeah. What the heck? That's a real thing, just mm -hmm. so you know. Mm, a curse. Just like the bungee jumping on the bridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that like the get lady with, with the May May? The words, the yeah. braid, yeah. Is that supposed to be like the Utahime lady? Like the Gojo of the other school, yeah, you know? Kind of. She just doesn't have the scar. Okay, so this is the home of the guy who's on the, the restaurant that yeah. had the mad cow disease. <laughs> this is interesting so far. It's got like a horror vibe. Oh, no. Maybe this is how she gets her scar or something. That big mm. scar she has across her face. Oh, jeez. Rats. Hmm. Does the animation feel? They, it's a little different, yeah. Yeah. It's very like fluid. Yeah. It's weird. They probably increased the budget since the first season was so successful. Oh, so the whole season's like this, or is it? Just I don't know. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, weird! What the? Oh, oh weird. Whoa. It's all falling apart. That's the house? Yeah, yeah. But what's that silver thing above her? Is that Gojo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. I recognize his voice. High second year. First grade. May May. Yeah. I guess I didn't realize that that. Oh, whoa. Oh. There it is. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It got eaten. Oh, I bet that's ghetto. Second year. Yeah. <laughs> Man, they really settled that quickly. <laughs> They ruined her mission. Shoko Ieri. Is she smoking? Or I is that so. a lollipop? I don't know. So she's with Gojo and Ghetto. Okay. She totally gonna die. <laughs> Why do Wait, you look at him! <laughs> trash. <laughs> Why was he walking like that? <laughs> I 
I guess I didn't realize the May lady was like older than all of them. Yeah. Let me get out. Heard her extra fees. Yeah. He's just slithering it up. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> They didn't do one. Ooh. It, like, people saw it. No, they That's... just said it was caused by... Yeah. Well, people didn't see them, but, yeah. yeah, they risked it. That's the principle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my! <laughs> normies <laughs> so yeah um, it looks like he just goes without his glasses or the bandage or yeah he doesn't have that yet yeah. it seems I assume he's not as strong as you know he was as an adult oh, wait did he just have the sunglasses on then well he's wearing sunglasses yeah. but he doesn't wear the blindfold It's weird seeing them like this. Mm -hmm. This is the opposite of how he is in the movie. I was thinking this while we were watching the movie. Obviously, you guys didn't see that, but they had flashes to them when they were younger, and it seems like Gojo was kind of more... Um, not selfish, but he didn't really care about like normal people, and Ghetto did. In the movie, it's the total opposite when yeah. they're older. They just switch worldviews, kind of. He's very immature. Yeah. I do like they're distressing. <laughs> I don't know. They seem pretty capable. Oh, Tengen, the guy, the mortal character. Eraser? Eraser? Does that mean... Oh, yeah, he isn't the principal yet. Wait, Eraser? Is that like exercise, but for a human? Oh, renewing Tengen's technique? His immortality? Hmm. We haven't seen him yet, but they keep mentioning Tengen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, weird. weird. Oh, weird. <laughs> yeah, that does sound kind of <laughs> cool. Hmm. Yeah, that's what we heard. And Mojito broke through them all somehow. Okay. So he's kind of like the barrier guy. Weird. Oh. So he kind of like takes someone over. Yeah. That's kind of dark. I know we're quiet. We're just reading it. Take yeah. it. In. <laughs> I think that's from like some pop culture thing in Japan. Mm. Which they're called star plasma. plasma. Yeah. Curse user group Q. They look funny. 
Tommy Witcher screen. Can we see Tengen? <laughs> Is the girl in the stuff? Yeah, she's the okay. vessel. But he's gonna like basically kill her and like take her over. Right. It's kind of weird. And they're gonna go get her. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> What's up with the... The animation? Yeah, the... It's more artsy. <laughs> so that group wants him to, like, evolve. They don't want him to reincarnate. Or the strongest. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean? We were talking about that. He doesn't really. He's still very disrespectful to yeah. not not um the principal of the school. He he like the teacher, mm -hmm. the current teacher. I forget his name, but um Yaga or whatever, but um the other principal, the old man. Mm hmm And all the higher ups that we've seen who like want Itadori executed and right. they wanted Yuta executed. Oh, Ruh -ruh. What is that? Oh, oh. It, it just shielded him. So he's still just like using curses. Like he's uh, just yeah. always been doing that. Oh, it's that girl. Those other people are trying to get her. Oh, yeah, it's these people. Okay. They want to stop it. That's kind of a funny looking cruise. It's amazing, right? So he just uses them at will. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. It's kind of like Fushigoro and his animal summons. Mm -hmm. But Ghetto kind of has like an infinite supply of them. Ooh. His infinity stopped them. That's a lot of nice. Oh, Bayer. dang. I'm curious if he's like, he's still strong, obviously, but I'm curious, like, yeah, he can't be as strong as he is in mm -hmm. season one. Yeah. It's a decade before. <laughs> he is a brat. <laughs> <laughs> the star religious group. They, he said they were non-sorcerers. Yeah. Zenin. Uh oh. I'm not a Zenin anymore. I took my wife's name. Who is it? Fushi. What is that? Wait. Is that his dad? I think so. <laughs> what? I took my wife's name, and he. Yeah, that's. Fushi girl's dad remarried. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. It's oh, on? it's over. What? <laughs> What happened? It's over. Well, that was interesting at the end there. I didn't expect that. With Megami's dad. So like we saw him in the opening and we were kind of wondering what the deal. Who he looked kind of interesting. Yeah. He might be like the villain. I'm thinking. What? Well, he said like you want to go try to um, kill the, the the star plasma vessel, the girl. But, I so mean, Megami's why... dad would be bad? I don't know, but he seems kind of sinister to me. Yeah. So... Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I didn't. I didn't know we'd see his dad. That's I know. Interesting. Like that kind of threw me off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because I mean, just like I would think of him being old, but this is yeah. a decade before. So Megami is like, he's like seven years old at this point. Okay, but yeah. Gojo did say that like his dad left the clan to protect Megami from the, the Zenin clan. clan, and he said like, "Don't call me Zenin." So right. he seems to not like them. Yeah. But then Gojo mentioned something else about like. Megami is going to get sold back to them and Gojo stopped, stopped it. So it, maybe yeah. we'll see that. Maybe he was taken from his dad? Because how maybe, could... Maybe, yeah. Because how would someone have access to Megami? Megami yeah. to... Yeah. Megami's never brought up a dad. Like, yeah. I mean, maybe he doesn't want to talk about it, but I was like, he's brought up his sister. Right. And he mentioned his dad 
married his sister's mother. But like, yeah. So he must not like the Zenin clan. Yeah. So, so, so let me break it down real quick. So mm -hmm. there's two groups that are wanting to get to this gal mm -hmm. who's going to be who is the vessel for Tenen. Tengen. Tengen. To like reincarnate. Okay. So. And Tengen is like the master of all. Yeah, the master of like the barriers and stuff. He okay. kind of like protects all so, the schools. Like okay. they're all dead basically without him is kind of the okay. impression I got. Or extremely vulnerable. So it's like he kind of like hides everyone from the real world is the impression I'm getting. Okay. And I kind of want to like see him because it'll be easier to like. We haven't seen Tengen. So it's right. like we, I want to like. Does he look like super senile and old because he's like <laughs> yeah. immortal? But. I think all of these groups, either way, want her dead because they want Tengen. the girl. Yeah. But so the one group, which is the one that they're the guy in the caps. Yeah. I think they want her dead because they don't want Tengen to reincarnate. Okay. And then the other group, which are the non-sorcerers, we haven't seen them, the, the religious group. They want Tengen to evolve to his higher form that they mentioned. Okay. And so they want her dead because they want to see him evolve. Okay. And then... This F Megami's dad <laughs> is. I'm gonna stop calling him Fushigoro because yeah, this guy is also a Fushigoro. Fushigoro yeah. Um, I'm curious if he can use like the animals too because that's apparently I like bet. a hereditary yeah, technique, I think so. you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I'll be really interested to see what happens yeah. with that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's weird. It's just like a totally new cast, basically. I know. Yeah. And I'm curious the anim I mentioned the animation. I don't know if that's just because this is the uh, flashback, so to speak, or if this is how it is the rest of the season. Well, I think like the manga's art style really changed as it went on. Mm -hmm. And maybe they're just kind of changing it slowly to like adapt to the newer art style of the manga, maybe. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I think it's higher quality. It's just a bit more like yeah. artsy. Oh, I'll get used to it, I guess. Yeah. So. Would I like to thank our tier three patron, Legally Burnett. You're awesome. You can check out our Patreon at A Nerd and His Mom for early access to all of our videos. And if you like the video, like the video. And subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.